A prompt builder is where your instructions to your AI come together with your data. With this simple resource picker, you can find any data that you want to bring in and simply merge it into your prompt template. That is then ultimately generating a, a prompt that's sent to an LLM to get the response back. But that's great. Well, what about um, what it looks like for, in, for real users? So let's go actually go in a little deeper. So many of the demos you've seen already um, uses uh, generative AI to generate great sales emails like the one in front of you. But uh, I'm not going to show you email. I'm actually going to show you something much more custom. So I'm going to click this button over here. And what it's going to do, uh, flow is everywhere. So uh, like you just saw, and I'm actually going to use a screen flow here in a modal um, on my contact record. And what you're going to see is it's going to allow me to pick a product. And when I pick that product and I click next, it's going to generate a quick call to action. This is a call to action that you can send via text message or ver uh, WhatsApp to a customer. And there you go. You've got a great uh, call to action here. Enhance Acme Sugar Company's customer experience with Wonk's Cocoa Nib Infused Olive Oil. How great is that? And every time you run this, um, it will actually generate a different call to action. Now, this is great, right? So I don't want you to get caught up on the particular use case. I actually want you to imagine in your org what you can do with generative AI and where you would put it. The reason um, that is very exciting is because in the GA that is shortcoming here, you will be able to actually create a couple of different types of te prompt templates. So you can do field generation, you can do record summaries, you can do sales emails. You can also do a thing called flex templates. So what's a flex template? A flex template allows you to create a prompt template that takes data that is unique to your org. You can literally create um, inputs of data, of including custom objects, that you can pass into your prompt template to then use to generate an interesting response, like a quick call to action. So let's jump to this template we just used. And here you'll see we've got our instructions to the LLM here, all of our merge fields for the data to come in. We've got the preview down here. And when I actually run this, um, so let's grab that same product we used. Um, actually, let's use a different one. There we go. So you can pick uh, any product you have there, and you can actually run this against the LLM. You can see on the left bottom here what actually was sent to the LLM, so what was the prompt that was created. So it's just like the prompts that you would use in, say, ChatGPT, but instead of having going back and forth to add the data, you can actually just merge the data straight in. And on the right, you can see the response. All right. Uh, one more thing to point out, one of the things that I am particularly excited about here at Salesforce is we are LLM agnostic. We actually bring a whole bunch of LLMs that's available for you right out of the box that you can pick from so you can run the right LLM with your prompt, but you can also bring your own. So if you have a specific LLM you want to use, um, you can actually use it on the one or two or 20 or 100 prompt templates that actually make sense for it. This allows for incredible flexibility in your system. Now, great, so we've built a custom prompt template or a flex template. We chose to pass in a contact and Lee, a contact and a, a, a um, product, but how could we use this? How do we put this into our workflows? Well, I'm gonna show you the flow example, but these things are actually invocable action. So anywhere you can use an invocable action, you can actually call a flex template. But let's look specifically inside of flow because this is admin release live and we wanna show you that you can actually be a prompt engineer with no code just clicks and a little bit of instructions to an AI. One of the very exciting features that's coming um, with RGA is the ability to call prompt templates as an invocable action. So inside of your invocable actions list, you can actually now see there is a new option called prompt template. And in this, you can pick the exact same one we just had, generate quick call to action. And you're going to see that's gonna require, um, ask us to pass in the data that you selected when you created that flex template. What this ends up looking like is you can pass in the contact and the product that we picked in our screen flow and then actually put out the customer message um, that the customer can then see. This allows you to take prompt templates, generative AI, take your data, your instructions, put them together and put the result anywhere where a user has a need for an AI moment to lift their productivity and speed up their job.